Welcome back to our personal safety series, Keep It Safe in Smithtown. I'm John Valentine, your Director of Public Safety, and I welcome you here today to share in this information. The information we're about to provide you offers seasonal safety issues that you might encounter on a day-to-day -day basis living in the town of Smithtown. We hope you enjoy the program and please share it with your friends and family. Thank you. Welcome to KISS, Keep It Safe Smithtown. On today's show, we will look at the DEC rules and regulations for hunting in the town of Smithtown. Long Islanders have historically enjoyed a rich abundance of wildlife found upon the island's land and water. The rural northern hills of Smithtown and the extensive bays and tidal wetlands surrounding the town provide excellent hunting opportunities. As with any outdoor activity, finding available land and obtaining permission may be difficult. However, some excellent hunting can be had by those interested and willing to invest time to locate landowners and to obtain permission. Before you head out to hunt, make sure you're familiar with the hunting regulations in the town of Smithtown. The first thing you need to know is that you need a license to legally hunt in the state of New York. Minors under the age of 12 cannot obtain a hunting license or hunt wildlife. A hunter education course is required for persons who cannot show proof that they ever possessed a hunting license. The general course is a minimum 10 hours in length. DEC honors hunter education certificates and sporting licenses from all other states and countries. Hunters wishing to bow hunt for deer must take an additional eight hour minimum bow hunter education course. In order to qualify for a resident hunting license, you must prove that you are a legal resident of New York State. You will need one of the following proofs of residency when purchasing a hunting license. A New York State driver's license, New York State non-driver's identification from DMV, current New York State vehicle registration, an IT-201 or W-2 income tax form from the previous year, current voter registration card, a current student ID, military leave and earning statements of military orders, or a current pay stub or note on letterhead from a current employer verifying your legal address. Licenses and permits are valid from October 1st through September 30th. To hunt in small game or big game season starting prior to October 1st, the previous year's license is required. When you obtain a license, there are certain responsibilities that go along with it. A license, permit, tag, or stamp, except your management permits or lifetime licenses are not transferable and may be used only by the person to whom it is issued. It is not legal to possess another person's license, permit, or stamp except a transferred deer management permit while hunting unless accompanied by the person to whom issued. A license to hunt, trap, or fish does not give the holder any right to go on private property without permission of the landowner. You can legally purchase and possess only one big game or sportsman license per year. It is illegal to refuse to show your license on demand to a law enforcement officer or the owner, lessee, or person in control of the lands while on their property. Make sure that your license has all the correct information. Carefully check it immediately after purchase or as soon as delivered in the mail. If you discover an error, have it corrected as soon as possible. Errors render a hunting or fishing license invalid. To obtain a license, individuals can visit their local Walmart, sports authority, town clerk's office, as well as many other local sporting goods stores. Individuals can also visit the Department of Environmental Conservation Automated Licensing System page at dec.newyork.gov. Along with a license, you must have a back tag when hunting in the town of Smithtown. 
back tags must be visibly displayed on the middle of your back while hunting in the town of Smithtown. Once you have obtained a hunting license, you need to know what are the legal hunting implements in New York State. On Long Island, you may use a bow, shotgun, or muzzle loader. However, implement use, including shotgun size and load, vary depending on the species to be taken. A rifle may never be possessed a field on Long Island. While the DEC regulates hunting in the state, municipalities can further limit or outlaw the activity within their borders. The town of Smithtown limits hunting to private property as opposed to DEC designated hunting grounds in public parks and forests. And it cannot occur within 500 feet of a home, school, or other occupied building, park, playground, beach, or other outdoor recreational area. This is stricter than DEC law, which limits hunting to certain areas and not within 500 feet of an occupied building, unless the property owner gives written permission. Hunters cannot discharge a weapon while on a road, and no projectiles may cross or land on a road, but there is no distance provision for hunting near a road, as different ammunition from different firearms travel different distances. In general, the bay bottom below the high tide mark is considered public domain and open to hunting. Firearms may be discharged on the Nisquag River only in the area defined as being within 50 feet of the high water mark of the West Bank and northward to the Long Island Sound from a line formed by the westerly extension of the southerly boundary line of the village of Nisquag to the West Bank. While the town limits hunting to private property, villages within the town can write their weapons discharge code to further limit or outlaw hunting. Neither the village of the head of the harbor nor the village of the branch allows hunting within village boundaries. It is not uncommon in the village for a property owner to have a run-in with a hunter. If you do, call public safety at 631-360-7553. Okay, so now you have a license and a legal hunting implement, and you need to get to the hunting grounds. There are rules for the transportation of firearms in New York State. A person may not transport or possess a shotgun or rifle in or on a motor vehicle unless the firearm is unloaded in both chamber and magazine. A loaded firearm may be carried or possessed in a motorboat while legally hunting migratory game birds. Let's take a look at just what you can legally hunt on Long Island. Small game hunting consists primarily of a two month season for pheasant and quail, which runs from November 1st through December 31st, and a four month season for cottontail rabbits and squirrels from November 1st through the end of February. Seasons are also open at varying times for woodcock, crow, fox, and raccoon. Consult your DEC hunting guide Available online at dec.newyork.gov for specifics. In 2009, Long Island had its first wild turkey hunting season. The opening of the season is a direct result of over a decade of wild turkey reintroduction efforts by the department. The season is limited to a five-day fall hunting season in November. Here are some rules you need to know when hunting turkey. You will need a small game hunting license and a turkey permit. You may hunt with a bow. You may hunt with a shotgun or handgun only when using a shot no larger than number two and no smaller than number eight. You may not take a turkey with a rifle or with a handgun firing a bullet. You must fill out the tag which comes with your permit and attach it to any turkey you shoot immediately. Ducks and geese are considered small game. Consult the DEC website for information on the waterfowl hunting season and what migratory game birds you can legally hunt in the town of Smithtown. All waterfowl hunters must register with the Harvest Information Program. This program helps biologists better manage the resource. Another legal requirement for all waterfowl hunters is the purchase of a $15 
Federal Migratory Bird Hunting and Conservation Stamp, better known as a Federal Duck Stamp. You must carry this stamp when you are hunting waterfowl in the town of Smithtown. A shotgun used for waterfowl must have the magazine plugged, so it may not contain more than two rounds. Also, only non-toxic shot may be used. No lead. Big game hunting is still available on Long Island, with an abundant population of white-tailed deer in much of eastern Suffolk County. Present hunting opportunities exist in the form of an archery season from October 1st to December 31st, and a three-week shotgun and muzzleloader season in January. No firearm deer hunting is allowed on the weekends, and hunting hours are sunrise to sunset. The shotgun season is closely regulated with special town permits and written landowner permission required of each hunter in addition to his or her big game license. It is illegal to hunt deer with the aid of bait or with the aid of any artificial light including laser sights. Annually more than 2,000 deer on Long Island are taken during these two seasons. The town of Smithtown encourages you to get out and enjoy the numerous opportunities to hunt within the town. Remember to obey all rules and regulations and log on to dec.newyork.gov for more detailed information. When it comes to hunting, remember, keep it safe, Smithtown. For KISS, this is Kenny Bernardini.